In today's video, I'll show you how to encrypt any USB drive with Veracrypt. Veracrypt is a free open source encryption program that lets you securely protect files, folders, or entire drives behind a password. It works on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, and is one of the best ways to keep your data private. If you're like me and travel a lot with external SSDs and hard drives, it's a good idea to encrypt your drives. That way, if you ever lose one, your files remain secure, and no one can access the data without your password. To begin, download and install Veracrypt. I'll leave the link to the download page in the description below. Once there, choose the installer for your operating system. Since I'm on Windows, I'll download the latest EXE installer. After the download finishes, locate the file and open it to start the installation. Once the Veracrypt installer opens, choose your language, accept the license agreement, make sure install is selected, and leave all the default setup options checked. Click install. When Veracrypt is done installing, you'll be prompted that the install was successful. Click OK and finish to close the installer. When prompted to view the beginner's guide, just choose no. Now plug in the USB drive that you want to encrypt to your computer. I'll be using a 500GB external SSD for this example, but this works with any USB storage device like a flash drive or external hard drive. Before encrypting the drive, I like to create a small unencrypted partition that holds the portable version of Veracrypt. This part is optional, but it makes it easier to access your encrypted drive on other computers even if Veracrypt isn't installed since the program will always be available on the USB itself. To do this on Windows, open the search bar and type Disk Management. Choose Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. Once Disk Management opens, find your drive, right click its main partition and select Shrink Volume. Enter 100 megabytes as the amount of space to shrink. That's more than enough for the portable version. Click Shrink, and you'll now see 100 megabytes of unallocated space on the drive. Right click that space, choose New Simple Volume, and go through the setup wizard. Click Next a few times, assign a drive letter, and format it as FAT32 with the label Veracrypt. Click Finish and you'll now see a small 100 megabyte drive appear in this PC. Next, open Veracrypt. There should be a shortcut on your desktop, or you can search for it in Windows like any other program. In the menu bar, click Tools, then select Traveler Disk Setup. Click Browse, and choose the small Veracrypt partition we just made. Leave all the other settings as default and click create. You'll then get a message saying that the traveler disk was created successfully. If you open up that 100 megabyte partition, you'll see a Veracrypt folder containing the portable version of the software. This lets you open Veracrypt directly from the USB on any computer, no installation required. Now let's begin encrypting the main partition of your drive. In Veracrypt, click Create Volume. The Volume Creation Wizard will open up. First choose Encrypt a Non-System Partition or Drive. It's possible to encrypt a system drive with Veracrypt, but I'll cover this in another video. Click Next. And on the next screen, select Standard Veracrypt Volume and click Next again. Click Select Device and locate your USB drive in the list. In my case, it's the 465GB data partition labeled Testing SSD. Double check the size and name to make sure you select the correct one. Make sure Never Save History is checked. This prevents Veracrypt from remembering which drives or volumes you've mounted. Click Next and you'll be asked whether to encrypt and format the drive or encrypt it in place while keeping existing files. My drive is empty, so I'll select Create Encrypted Volume and format it. Next, choose your encryption options. For the encryption algorithm, select AES. AES is a trusted encryption standard that transforms your data into unreadable code 
using your password as the key. AES is known for both being extremely secure and very efficient, making it ideal for protecting files on portable drives. For the hash algorithm, leave it as SHA-512. It's a strong hashing method that helps generate your encryption key from your password securely. Click Next and confirm that the full size of the partition is selected. Click Next again to create your password. Now create a strong password that's at least 10 to 12 characters long with upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. This password acts as the encryption key that locks and unlocks your files. If you lose or forget it, there's no way to recover the data, so keep it safe. Enter it twice, then click Next. You'll then be asked whether you plan to store files larger than 4GB on the drive. If you do, select Yes. Veracrypt will suggest a suitable file system based on that choice. For the best compatibility across Windows, macOS, and Linux, choose XFAT. If you'll only be using the drive on Windows and want full support for larger files, NTFS is also a good choice. But personally, I usually stick with XFAT as it also handles large files well and keeps the drive easily accessible on different operating systems. Now move your mouse randomly inside the Veracrypt window for about 30 seconds. This adds randomness to the encryption and strengthens the key. When you're ready, click Format to start encrypting. Click Yes on the data loss warning. Depending on your drive's size and speed, this process may take a few minutes, but in some cases, it can take almost an hour. When it's done, Veracrypt will display a message confirming that the volume was created successfully. If you look in this PC, you'll see that your drive shows no drive information, and if you try and open it, Windows might ask to format the drive, but don't. If you click Cancel, you'll get an error saying that the drive is not accessible. In Disk Management, you can see that the drive has a raw partition. This means that the drive's data partition exists, but it's unreadable in its current state. To open the encrypted drive, return to Veracrypt, and in the main window, select an available drive letter. For this example, I'll use M. Click Select Device, choose your encrypted partition, and click Mount. Enter the password, click OK, and Veracrypt will decrypt and mount the volume. You'll now see the mounted volume drive in File Explorer, and you can use it like any other USB drive. When you're done, make sure to unmount the drive from within Veracrypt. Select it, then click Unmount. Once unmounted, the data on the drive is fully locked and can't be accessed without Veracrypt and your password. Now if you plug your USB drive into another computer, you can access the portable version of Veracrypt from the small Veracrypt partition. Just open that partition, go into the Veracrypt folder, and run Veracrypt x64.exe. You can then mount and unlock your encrypted volume just like before. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Veracrypt is cross-platform. You can use these same steps to mount your encrypted drive on both Linux and macOS. And that's all there is to encrypting any USB drive with Veracrypt. If this video helped, please leave a like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And subscribe for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching.